In this video, I want to show you how I have set up my ATX benchtop power supply. There are plenty of videos out there that show you how to do this. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to show you how I set mine up. Now, most of them add binding posts to the metal case and leave it at that, but I wanted something a little bit more. So, first off, to the 12 volt rail, I have added these cheap dollar store uh, phone chargers that you would use in your uh, automobile. They look like this, a dollar each. I soldered a, uh, a uh, positive here and negative here, taped it down, uh, drilled a 15 16 inch hole, slipped them in there and uh, hot glued them down. And as you can see, that uh, converts that 12 volt rail to uh, 5 volts, and it's uh, my phone's pretty much charged that I've got on there. Uh, it's putting out uh, uh, just a few milliamps there. Uh, down here, I have a 12 volt switch. Uh, I have the standby light as blue and the power on light as red. Here I have three uh, 5 volt rails, two 12 volt rails, one 3.3 rails, and the grounds. And then up here I have a volt amp meter. Uh, I'll show you how that's wired in just a second. The way it's wired is it doesn't turn on until I apply power. So let's stick this all the way in. And there we go. 11.8 volts. And uh, 500 milliamps. That, did I read that right? I'm not sure. I'm powering this uh, fan here. Uh, so I come from the 12 volt rail into the uh, positive side of the volt amp meter. Now these two binding posts are jumpered together. It just goes from here to here. Now the wiring for the uh, amp meter I've got, you've got red, blue and black. And then this is the power on for the amp meter itself. So I hooked all of the reds together, all of the blacks together and then I put the positive to this binding post, the negative to this one, this is jumpered from this one, and I put the blue wire here. So when I come from my 12 volt rail, power on and ground, and then I go to the fan that I'm powering, this goes to the fan, and this goes to the fan, and that will give you both the volts and the amps reading. Okay, so I put this together. My nerdy son got me playing with uh, Arduinos and Raspberry Pis, and I decided that I wanted something uh, uh, to help uh, power those items, and this is what I put together. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you.